Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Twitch. That's very nice of you. This is our first Twitch broadcast, and we're loving it so far. It's been really nice. I really expected... 40,000% more like poppy seed cake recipes, but obviously that's not what this is. So, but thanks anyway. Why did you expect that? I just assumed that it's, I don't know. I don't know because I'm stuck in 1972 and I assume most people are like, here's your ripping recipe I got from taste.com. I just, I don't know. But that's why not it, what. Why does taste.com exist? He's watching the Food Channel too much. You think. <laughs> Stop time traveling. I'm sick of it. <laughs> anyway, it's look. so weird. He's the oldest and youngest man I know. <laughs> Anyway, the important just thing a is- baby trapped in a seventy-year-old man's body, yeah, and it's, it's not a Benjamin Button thing either. He just does keep aging. <laughs> <laughs> but look, that's I sad. Do- that's not. <laughs> it's true, but I do. I, 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 I look <sighs> peace and love. I can find cake recipes on my own time. I guess. Dude, by the way, well, that was just on that topic. Thank you for that, Miss Love. As always, you a fan <laughs> that's of, uh, why you're here. That British milf, uh, Nigella Lawson, or something. Yeah, of course, dude. I watch her every day. Now. Can I tell a funny story? Is, so, is that what? <sighs> for those of you who want to know my type, that's out. my type. Yeah, that is your type, actually. But have you just figured out that Nigella Lawson's hot now? <laughs> no, no. It's I will been- say it is amazing. She is just human wine. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. is. Why does she get bitter? How old is she now? 80? Coke. No, she's not 80. <laughs> it's just a number. Why is she hotter? Coke. Co- what? How does Coke make? Doesn't that make you way worse? I feel like it preserves you a bit, you know? What are you How's talking about? Look, I don't well, If there's the, any Coke heads, know. just let us know <laughs> in the Coke comments. Heads tell us if fact, you look younger than you did when you started your habit. Yeah, yeah. Is there any. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. <laughs> anyone that is a coke addict on right now? I mean, I'm sure there's a few coke addicts on. on is coke. there anyone on coke right now? <laughs> yeah, yes, actually, the, right now, definitely will. Is be. there anyone on coke right now? Tell us, dude. Like, and that's really sad as well because they'll be by themselves, just going. You don't need anyone to have a party. <laughs> <laughs> and we and also have right. to introduce the fourth member of the friendly Jimmy's podcast, which is this shoe that can talk. <laughs> what is it? Well, don't shoe- worry, man. We just want to rock. That's a- <laughs> and these guys said there's no puppets on stage. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, yeah, look at yeah, this yeah. You one. You thought wrong. Yeah. You thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> again. So what's the reason? got any questions why- for Shuey, we will answer them. <laughs> so why are you still wearing I- I've got a f- the first question. Yeah, why do you exist, you- Shuey? Yeah, can- <laughs> well, I can answer that. Can you? Can you okay. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> is, is it an issue of like, I can't afford shoes? No, dude. No, no. no or no. I can't be fucked to buy shoes? <sighs> Look, I assumed I was sitting here with two men, but I'm obviously sitting here with two boys because men <laughs> like the, any item of clothing or, or footwear or anything on their body. Well, maybe this is just me, but I've heard on, on the I've heard in the grapevine, and this is most men. I'm not taking that shit off till it deteriorates into into like the abyss. This this isn't shit. I'm waiting until it is debilitating. I won't chuck my undies out until the fo- until they literally don't stay on. The pants aren't going until you can see my whole ass, and these <laughs> shoes aren't going till the whole sole falls off. God damn it! <laughs> you could just glue them up, you know. Yeah, I haven't got around to that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get. And it's shoe winter. Glue. Hey guys, do you have any shoe glue here? I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> he has shoe glue. Shoe glue, aka Tarzan's oh, grip. Oh, We're gonna, that's yeah, the let's, one. If we can find shoe glue, we'll do it live. But that's that's the main vibe. Do you guys d- agree or disagree? Is that is that a bullshit call, Jordan? You- it's not a bullshit call, but I will say this: it is a man's call. It is, or it is a poor Ukrainian boy that lives in the sewers, which is pretty much me. No, <laughs> I think I think I have the same fashion sense as them of just being like, oh, we're just going to shoplift at Kmart or the yeah. Ukrainian equivalent of. <laughs> It's a, but it's, you have a homeless man's taste. It's a and boomer. And you thing. have a 40 year old middle class man's taste. Yeah, we're all very. Hey, cool. I'm kind of cool. What about this shit? Oh, yeah, semi hippie. Pseudo hippie. Shake. And yeah, let's be honest, it's not because that's from Bali. For no, sure. this is yeah. from. Uh, this is also from Pakistan. Yeah, I thought so. It's oh, like, yeah, okay. Dude, that's I the, bought it with you. Did you? Yeah. yeah. That's the it's vague. Swat Wally when we were dodging the Taliban. Oh, yeah, yeah I that's made a right. quick uh, pit stop and I got this. Dude, if you're from, I, I remember like that. If you're from like <laughs> Asia, I was Middle there. East, it's like law to have like some kind of trinket on your wrist. You know what I mean? I feel like that's part of the vibe. Yeah, a lot a of them thing. do it. It's not a bad thing. It's just like I feel like that's the currency. You know what I mean? 
you're being really racist right now. <laughs> no. Feeling uncomfortable. Oh, Ali, geez. are you on that train? <laughs> I am not <laughs> on this train. <laughs> Cheese TV. He's Dragon Ball Z. Are we going to play this game or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going into our first game. You can play at home, but you're not welcome to play with us. Any cokers? No. no <laughs> Why are you so fat? Dude, I'm curious. There's no, I'm curious in that as well. No cokers. Anything to do with anti aging, I'll try it. <laughs> hey, you know what? Yesterday someone made a comment. I think I'm losing my hair too, Jordan. You? Yeah, apparently my. Uh, no, your hair's hey, luscious. Hey. <laughs> Mishlaf, been there, done that, boy. Yes. The man that you can't tell if it's a human or just a circumcised cock. Mishlaf. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, wait. I, no, he's a wait, chitch boys, boys, warlord. Boys. What? I do coke. Sunny mm -hmm. Coast reporting in. Yes. Hey, how are you from the Sunny Coast, but you couldn't afford coke? That's yeah, the second thing. He's lying. He's full of shit. No, no, it's no. no. Ice, also, be honest. Best place. Boys, boys. What is your opinion? On the on the sunny coast. That's a really good question. Uh, Jordan can Jordan can win. I don't that. have one. You don't? Central Coast, dude. The only no, but that's why. But you know why? Because you're not fucking Australian. That's why. I'm not fucking. Because everybody else who is Australian has someone that they're related to that they go there that they have to visit, and as a result, have been to the reptile park way too. That's many That's just times. you. That's just no. That's that all. Is very, that's all uh, Aussies. You, that's uh, every yeah, Aussie. No, they have right. someone that moved up there because they were just like, I, I like the Gold Coast, but I also like being close to family. That's the only say. exposure that I have of Central <laughs> Coast is like knowing a few rich brats who have like uh, another place in Central Coast. An estate Wyatt from the Central. An estate. I didn't want to they say. They do have those with horses and shit. No, you're right. They're, like Terrigal, I'm pretty sure is just an entire suburb of dentists that own mansions <laughs> as a second house that they never visit and they don't airbnb either it's yeah. hard isn't this like a whole thing about like central coast being gentrified with like more rich people coming in now yeah because this is the this is the amazing thing and you can thank keating for this <laughs> Australia has, like, increased in wealth, but, like, you know, Howard coming in just made it so that, like, growth into the corporate sector just went way up. So there are a lot of rich people in Australia still can't afford a fucking house in Sydney. So they, oh, yeah. they, they, they are still extremely wealthy, but they're just like, what am I going to do? Well, I guess I'm going to have to buy one of those mansions that Rocky lived in in Rocky Five that has a really shit 80s robot that says, welcome, sure, when you open the door. <laughs> Dude, it's a better existence, I reckon. It's, what? Is Terrigal just having like coast? a massive place in Central Coast as opposed to like a oh, shit place? Oh, wave it, wave it. Hey, is Terrigal the Central Coast? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Terrigal was like the place that like my family were. It's like, that's it. We're getting classy. We're staying at a hotel in Terrigal with a shitty hot tub. That was my life. <laughs> but I liked it. I liked it personally. There seems to be a lot of people from the sandy coast on, our, on this thing. Dude, is our audience mostly from there? Myth I hope not. Because uh, if, <laughs> if they are mostly from the central coast, it is just a bunch of meth heads watching us. Damn. So just talk about the yeah. fucking... Talk about Pink Floyd again. <laughs> Um, there's, some, there's a dude from the USA listening. USA, USA. That was all right. Uh, yeah, that's great. Right. That's <laughs> contribution number two for Bislav. And does Shua approve? <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> yes. Shire, no. Lithgo, fuck yeah. Shire, no, Shire's no. mad. Shire is just really? the central coast in Sydney. Yeah, that's yeah. great. But <laughs> minus the, that's the other thing as well. They're yeah, always just yeah. like, oh my god, you smoke weed. That's disgusting. What do you do? Get blind drunk every day. Yeah, that's the Shire. North Shore <laughs> represent. There's some too dicey with weed. Melbs. Come on, someone. I want to play Black this game. Melbourne, I, I got, I got, I, look. If I, you're from France, you can't be listening to this. Just tune out. Yeah, what, what are you doing say? here? <laughs> Get the I'm fuck just out joking. Of here. It's all right. It's all right. No, I'm sick of this. You've got bigger fish to fry. London. Just take down Macron okay. at any cost. London. So someone, someone from London. I feel like that is a big. If there's, oh, it's so harsh, but that's a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can pretty much sum up. Look, if people are like, "What's your opinion on Melbourne?" This is my opinion. Stop trying so hard to be London. You're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not. I'm sick of this shit of just like going there and it's just being like, "Have you got your EU ticket, Governor?" No. Exactly. Like, yeah. stops. Just fucking actually succeed. Well, that implies that London is actually good. You know, we've That's what most I'm of our podcast what? is shitting on England. Is I, it, I, this, this, this podcast should just be called like England. What you know, like I don't know. I don't like know England, why it's just not keen. 
That should be the. They should be called England, no, not Keen Live. It should live. be the specific three. Like it, it should just be a roulette table. We should just have a, 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 a oh, wheel of fortune there with three words on it, just being like, "What country are you going to shit on this time? France, <laughs> England, or Brazil?" Dude, that should be a game for the podcast. <laughs> that should genuinely be a game for the podcast. We should have a wheel. We spin it, and uh, whatever it lands on, we have to spend the yeah, entire wheel podcast of misfortune. On that country. All right, let's play the first game. Yeah, yeah, but Stop. you've got get, to describe it first. Get the f- sorry, sorry. Enough. It's just, it is just a boom. It's so like, amazing hey, that Mislav, hey. before coming on, was just saying that oh, I'm nervous. I don't know if I could do this because there's a camera in front of me, and then instantly just starts reading comments. Forgets he's on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, right? You look down awkwardly and squint. Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't taken off his pants yet. I'm surprised he has pants. <laughs> Hey, Man. Jordan is Bam. the corporate to get the pants off. Don't don't be, you know, don't accuse Yeah, I'll me. get them off. Yeah. I'll get them off. But the miracle is you got them on. <laughs> <laughs> on my own. Oh, yeah, well, he's the I only think... sensible one here, and that's because he wears pants when appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that one blue pod where he didn't have pants because he was too hot. Yeah, Jed, there has been one pod where I didn't yeah, have pants. And I was the only one who wasn't wearing pants. No, I took them off instantly. No, you, no, you did. didn't. Ali I think, did. Ali took him off. No, he on. said it and he was like, well, if he's doing it, then so am I. Oh, yeah, man. No, I yeah, came up to you and said, oh, I'm very hot. Can I please take off my pants in your house? Really? Yeah, no. Surely my answer was, I don't see why not. Yeah, no, I, you I said no. <laughs> oh, really? No, no that's not. Come on. Whatever. Are we playing the game or what? Let's do it. We should Pretty probably, much defamation, Ali. We should, we should uh, yeah, let's go to the first cartoon, guys. It is Angela Anaconda. Play us out. What? That was not a Channel 10 show, but... We'll Fuck! <laughs> That'd be great. And then Pokemon plays. Yeah. Um, now, what's the, what is what is the game? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is a game that we're it. toying with. Actually, I think this is pretty much what Twitch is going to be. It's just going to be friendly Geordies, half-baked videos that aren't very well thought out and won't get many clicks. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm not going to do that anyway. yet. We're going to, we're going to play the game of... Um, you need to... I have to do everything. We're gonna describe. <laughs> yes, you do. So we're gonna um, we're gonna come up with a few celebrities, and we need to describe those celebrities in the most concise possible way. It the game I was about to say. I thought you were gonna like. No, that's that. my next YouTube. That's I'm it. really obsessed with this game. It's you, one of the that, funnest yeah, things I've ever done. <laughs> I loved it. It was yeah. the best really day of our lives. It's it got to be up there. It was. It, yeah, it was the best. It was like graduating high school. Then that. It was magic. <laughs> Don't, don't pretend you graduated. Um, no, it was sick. It was basically me and Jordan. <laughs> well, look, I don't want to like, you know, drop. I don't want to like pre, preempt and drop. Oh, but I like to click that. Um, preempt <laughs> like the video and put it out there. Or should we? Should we just tell them what it is? Yeah, this is the idea. This is all the family. This is the only fans. And it really is just pretty much only fans, but we're just doing it on the cheap. Because as we said, like most of us are just talking about our nutsacks, but we will. <laughs> uh, yes, we we look. Th- this is the game. Try and sum up TV show, songs, artists, some category in as few words as possible. Or the less, the sound. better. Or but you can, sound, on right? top of that, you can just say an entire essay verbally if you like as well. But you are trying to get to the essence of that thing as yeah. quickly as possible, just <clears throat> encapsulating its soul. So just as a quick teaser, I guess, for you guys. Ooh, privy to some YouTube goss. <laughs> we, like the, the first one, it obviously, is just like, if you were going to sum up Everybody Loves Raymond, it's just Deborah saying, Ray, I hate your mom. That's the whole show. <laughs> That's a little preview Ooh. for you, yeah. It's it's actually a great hey, that's game. That's my favorite episode. It's a great game. <laughs> that's it's all like, the episodes, dude. You know what it is? It's, it's describing a show for the net generation. It's like, I don't have time for this shit. I can only listen to something that's like, you know, under a minute. I can only listen to music that's under a minute. Not even that. Yeah, we're bloody TikTok these days. Yeah, that's, yeah, well, yeah, that's like, Discord, that's your thing too. Whatever whatever they are, whatever they're But called. in seconds, that's what we're trying different to do. Different apps that, that are all about different kinds of cake recipes. I think that's like I said before. But like those, all that, that vibe... That segment is perfect because it just, boom, it just describes it. You know what would be a great one for that is just an app? I think we could make a million dollars out of that if you called that app Sugar Hit. Anyway, continue. Holy, hey, patent pending, <laughs> patent pending, hey, patent pending. Don't pretend you heard that, okay. Wait. <laughs> hey, patent pending, anyone else too? <laughs> um, good oh, wait, idea. So you specifically, Arlen. <laughs> yeah, because I like to steal genius ideas. 
You do. I'm watching. He's a you. fucking little thief. I'm watching. I started a YouTube video and now you're. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. It took me six years, but it, I got. <laughs> yeah, it got through his head. Didn't go through Miss Love. All right, so I'm going to name. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, name the celebrity. Shout out. <laughs> Who wants to start? I'm going to. I'm going to make the decision here. You start, Miss Love. All right. All right. Okay, so the first celebrity is David Hasselhoff. Hmm. That's a good one. I like it. No, no, no. Just that sound? That's not it. <laughs> Here you go. I got this for you. <clears throat> California. Not bad. Yeah, that's... that's I like good. it. You liked it? That's pretty much his essence. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty, like, he, he is from California. <laughs> He's not, not lying. It's not a lie. I mean, I, that could have worked for Arnie as well. Anyway. I, 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 it doesn't I'm have to be... Okay, I've got, I've got another... What about this? Yeah, there's Baywatch, but did you remember Knight Rider? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's better. <laughs> that is good. That is good. That is good. But the problem with, like, if I picture David Hasselhoff, I don't have a sound or words. I have an image. An image of him dancing stupidly on that wall just before it br uh, they brought it down. But I'll, you remember that? Uh, that is sure. amazing. I don't and remember I really, it. I wasn't born, but it's got to be it. the closest thing that humanity has accomplished to Blade Runner. I didn't is know that <laughs> moment. It's so dystopic. Don't you think that just like you're, you're breaking down the Berlin Wall, the insides, the, the that real really, innards. That was the beginning of the collapse of the Soviet Union, really right? That and really the, the <laughs> thing that, that they wanted, that, was... that America wanted to introduce them to about a West, is like, now please see uh, America's <laughs> finest export, David Hasselhoff, who is an actor but had a really shitty musical career, and he's doing the musical part. And then him just being like, I come to America. No, but I think it's it was scary. Yeah, it Germans no, you know demanded right. it. You're right. That is terrifying. Yeah, it's horrible. How, Dude, just how, watching him dance was terrifying. How was that an he advertisement? He was trying to be a shit John Travolta from Saturday Night Live. Yeah, that is, that is a terrible advertisement for the West. Or is it a great one? No, but like, I'm No, I'm, it's great. You're right. That's pretty kind of much Australia and I mean, uh, the West. That is Nutshell. the West. But I think yeah. you guys are underestimating Hasselhoff. Like I'm pretty a, sure a Germany that demanded. No, is yeah. not going to be famous in 20 years. Yeah, exactly. He's still famous. Dude, like, as, as you said, do you remember <laughs> Knight Rider? Corona. Do you remember Shout Baywatch? Out Corona. He's famous. Yeah, but he's kind of famous in the same way a meme from 2010 is famous of, hey, do you remember successful black guy? Yes, I do remember that. And it's kind of not that funny anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just nice to reminisce sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking you're about. Both oh, you know what? I get you're it. I, I know why this is happening. I've just discovered so when I was growing up, the only thing that we had no. on TV was Knight Rider and Baywatch. So for me, he was a massive celebrity. How much did you fap to Baywatch? Uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. The raciest. And I bet you your brother is obsessed with cars fapped to Knight Rider. <laughs> My oldest brother was indeed. <laughs> Dude, he, he the would literally tape that shit. He would tape had. Knight Rider and would watch it over and over again. You right. know what? I, I'm going to put it out there. Knight Rider is cool. Like, if it was on TV now... But it's I'd your watch. point about Stranger Things. Of, did you know that if you put weird 80s synth music in the background, <laughs> anything appears interesting? It's a really fair... <laughs> That's Knight Rider, because it's just every episode is just being like, I found a road. I know. Dude, dude that, that is Drive. That, I, that's like my favourite movie of all time, but what is it? Slow-mo shots of uh, Ryan Gosling in, like, fluoro lighting with music going... Digga, 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 and give him an award. It doesn't, you know what I mean? You, you can't beat that aim. No, you can't. In fact, every, I want to put it out there, every single film ever made should be Ryan Gosling in slow motion with synths in the background. And <laughs> anyone that doesn't make that as a movie, like they deviate that from one inch. You're making a big hung. mistake. Yeah. I, I do like I that. I don't think that's radical. Is, well, yeah. You just, Too radical? You're, you're a fan of cyberpunk, aren't you? Yeah, massive. Yeah. Like, have you seen Good Time? Sorry, the, Margaret and David. Ooh, it's time. That's that time. Yeah, nice. with Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret and David and Ali. Yeah. Um, he does. Have you work. seen that he, film, Ali? He, no, I haven't. Okay, moving on to the no, next no, one. Dude, dude. It happens Ali's, every time. Ali's the world like... movies guy. Come on. The what? He's the world movies. Yeah, your world movies. <laughs> your world movies. Um, yeah, I'm going yeah. to pretend no. But, have you, have, but have, they changed the name from world movies to have you seen this piece of shit Bollywood <laughs> film? <laughs> but seriously, Good Time. Hey, that's a whole film. different world that you guys don't know shit about. <laughs> but have you guys seen Good Time? Have you? No! Seen good time? Is I that don't even know what Russell it is. Crow? 
No, it's with uh, that guy from Twilight. But have you seen Uncut Gems? Have you heard of Uncut Gems? No. See, look, can we what are all these low-budget cyberpunk films that you keep chucking I, at? I, I, I need <laughs> to get the producers to like replace you guys. I'm like, no, well, I'm... yes, yes, that lighting was good, but they should have increased the fluoro green like 20%. Yeah, the they, they'd be pros wasn't... at it. They're doing it now. This guy knows. They know this how guy how knows. Yeah, yeah, he knows. They're, they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, this, I refuse this to... Time. It is, yeah. Ooh, heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to watch. Um, wait, what was the, what was the movie that you just mentioned? Yeah, Uncut Gems. I refuse to watch Adam Sandler in any movie that does, does not have a fart joke. Fair, fair. Yeah, I'll you're pay right. That. I'll pay that. Yeah. I, I am not Jack accepting. It. I did that bust. with Jimmy. I did that with Jim Carrey. And, and where I'll, I I'll add him. to that multiple fart jokes. <laughs> yeah, multiple. Yeah. Yeah, in no, in fact, right, it, right. All, the whole entire movie is supposed to be fart jokes. Yeah. I, look, I can't argue with that. I just wish that Adam right. Sandler actually made that film in Tropic Thunder that's a joke of the fatties fart too, where he plays all the characters and it's just all farting. That's yeah. that's the whole thing. Dude, how much is Adam, Adam Sandler like a celebrity where like, you know, the ultimate person to interview where if someone's like, would you rather interview Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, I don't know, like uh, JFK or Adam Sandler? Come on. All of us would unanimously pick Adam Sandler. Because I've got a question for him. Why do you get out of bed? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying... It needs to be us. Yeah, so, dude, Billy Madison, <laughs> Happy really Gilmore. Rich and you're not talented. What are you doing? You guys, sorry to... Okay, That's not to be, me. Not to be the, like, ABC3 of the room, but you guys should really watch Uncub Jams and then you might change your mind. No, you need to watch uh, Who Killed the Zohan or whatever. You don't mess with the Zohan. You don't yeah, mess with the Zohan. Yeah, you, don't watch, the Zohan. you don't watch Uncub Jams. Yeah. You watch Zohan. Yeah. Yeah. Like his entire... He he's only... hoping again, I guess that's that would be the answer. He's hoping that he can just throw another dart at the board and hopefully he gets the <laughs> Yeah, I know. Don't mess it, with the yeah, Zohan. Dude, boys. I can sum up that movie in one go. Ready? The, the Zohan movie. Yeah, Homus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got halfway, it. 50%. <laughs> I got halfway there. And that's that's, that's the... why you're my writing partner, man. <laughs> now, <laughs> what, what's, what's the Who's next, the next one, on one? The line? Oh, we were still. Jordan, I feel like. Okay, okay. okay. You call, you call, Ali. Um, what about. Mark Wahlberg. Oh, yes. Come on. I want to see. Who's doing that? Um, <laughs> You're the I'm just major. trying to think of Mark Wahlberg for. The thing is, like, I don't think of Can Mark Wahlberg that one? much. Can I take this okay, one? Okay, do it. Do yeah, it. Yeah, go yeah, for it. it. Oh, it's the same as the last one, but I mean, it's even better. <laughs> California. <laughs> Boston. <laughs> Boston. Yeah, it is. That is right. Yeah, okay. He's that done done is it. Mark he's Wahlberg. Done it. Yeah, yeah. Mark yeah. Wahlberg's whole life. Boston. Did you. You know, like, oh, and, yeah, and, and it's right. co followed closely by a close second of FBI. What? what? Oh, right. yeah, okay, of Every course. Movie, yeah. Dude, I can't right. decipher this. What's going on? This is Mark Wahlberg in a nutshell. Boston, F followed closely by the FBI. <laughs> All right, well, I think... Yeah, that. I think that was... I think you don't want to mess with me. Why? Because yeah. I, 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 I squint a lot. Okay, what about... I was buff once a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, what about this from Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. I'm I, like Chopper Reed, but not hardcore. <laughs> what? I hate vegans. Is that him? Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah, that's... that. That's, that's he's got Isaac whole... Butterfield of America. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's what he is. That's how to describe him. But more talented. <sighs> no, less talented. Yeah, way less talented. Sorry, I'm going to stop taking these. Go to the next talented. one. Jordan, next one. you take the next one. Sorry. Okay. Um, Julia Roberts... Dude, what I've got it in a nutshell. List. It's a great list. I'm definitely the meanest human being you'll ever meet in your life. <laughs> That's good. What are you basing? I don't think she's no, mean. No, no, no. Uh, I reckon as soon as the cameras turn yeah, off, yeah. she just turns into a demon and eats like one of the cameramen. Ye <laughs> no, yeah, dude, I would add to that either just... I'm Alex Jones was right, she's a shapeshifter. Yeah, I would add to that, like, I'm sassy slash bitchy. And also, also, you have to pay this too. I've got underarm hair. She does? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If like, you... is it loose or is it always just a little bit here that you sometimes see in a Kmart catalogue when they lift up and it's like, oh, oh you forgot about that? She was OG 90s. She I was OG 90, like, 
Brad. No, yeah, no. Dude. That was, I know this from. No, so it looks e like steel wool, does it? Yes. Ugh. No, that's not how it was. How Are was you talking it? about? So I know this because of uh, 101 biggest oops of celebrities from E. Uh, oh, that's how I found out about that's that. That's right. It was a mistake. Yeah. It's amazing that between you two, you've watched every piece of content E News has ever released. <laughs> but well, dude, that, was, that was my thing. Every day I was I liked E News from as well. School, yeah. And I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, E News, so good. But yeah, yeah. E News is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I will concede that. I didn't know that, man. Respect. Wait, so yeah, so that's where that's where it happened. So it was Apparently, a fumble. It was a fumble. It was a fumble. I don't know if it was a fumble. Maybe she was trying to be like, you know, off. Well, which one is it? Was I right or wrong? Well, look, E. Look, here's the thing. There's different interpretations to what happened. E News <laughs> believes that it was a fumble. <laughs> she later on said that I just did not care and I wanted to do it. I'm going with her. Isn't it crazy of... that people have, somewhere across the planet, ever since that happened, I can guarantee you that someone somewhere is having a conversation about her armpit hair. Probably like 10% of the world, right? Like at, at right now? Right now. Probably, <laughs> yeah. No, but one, it's, 1%. 1%, yeah. to be fair. 1%. Because no one's talking. 0.5%. No, dude, definitely Trump is talking about that when he should be talking about Syria. Just being like, Hell. that was nasty. <laughs> Didn't <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who and Rosie O'Donnell? I'm expanding it, okay? <laughs> yeah, true, true. Okay, well, we can do one more celebrity. All right, let's let's do this one. Last one, and then we move on to the other one. Oh, other segment. I like that me. segment. Um, Russell Brand. That's you. Is that me? Mm. I pretend to know more words than I actually do. Very good. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay that. He's done it. That's actually pretty good. Or you I'm not Russell Brand and that hurt. That, that, was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a really bad Or you could always go, because he's have not you ever smart. Heard? He's like, yeah, let's, yeah. let's be honest. He, what about, he now has this yeah. title of being smart. But like, here's the thing. This is why people consider he's smart. Because he was the smartest amongst the dumbest people in society. He's like big in yeah, So now he gets that credit of like, oh, he's an intellectual. No. Yeah. He's too drug fucked to be an intellectual. I heard Carla Jack yeah. you know, talking about it. They're just like, you just uses all these big words. Just like, go. mate, just get to the point. Yeah, just, yeah so you, you've like, got the everything. Most of those yeah. words are not required. All right, yeah. you like poetry, but like the point of saying words is being concise and trying to get your point across. It's not to show off. Yeah. Go home. He's Maybe. also he's also a very But I will say that for, for a good comedian though, they do have a very expansive vocabulary, but they select it. They select the words and yeah. But he shows it, off his vocabulary. Yes, yes. The point of having a vocabulary is that yeah, you have enough bombastic mm. weapons That's in your That's your word arsenal. of the day is what <laughs> we were just talking about. Yeah, send send into P.O. Box whatever and you get a free stick. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm doing this all wrong. It's supposed to be the O'Reilly factors. And the word of the day is bombastic. Bombastic. Hannity is up next. <laughs> <laughs> I need my... No, no, no. You can't just drop that dime. Give me my fix. Give me my fix. What is he talking about at the What's moment? The oh, yeah, yeah. So, Corona, I think we can all agree is bad. But what I'm saying is I want a timeline from the president. Hannity, you talk to the president. So you can take this to him. Okay, so what I want is for him to open up all sporting. I'm talking volleyball. I'm talking baseball. I'm talking that weird Canadian game with the baskets. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is this is my food. Keep going. Fair. That this they're always finishing on this. Just saying something really provocative, like you should open up all sports venues. Something <laughs> regardless really of whatever like doctors say. Yeah, yeah. And then said throwing that ball at Hannity by saying, fear. <laughs> he has to answer it Very that. fair now, And you have to give me the shutdown I'm the guest Give me the shutdown You. So, so I want to hear the end of I'm going to give you the final word Yeah okay Go well, You're going to have to play it in for me But yeah Okay no, no 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 But I'll just say Yeah but they could do that if they wanted to They're just not going to do it Okay I'm going to give you the last word Hannity I, 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 I understand that you're talking about uh, freedoms here, but uh, the, all the science and all the evidence you suggested that we should absolutely not open these avenues because, I mean, the NFL themselves has said they're dubious, and you know the stats would suggest that large okay. congregations of people okay. wouldn't be a good idea. Oh, well, thank you for coming on. Science. Thank you for coming on the because science. I just wanted to show my audience that you're nuts, and you've proven that today. Okay, <laughs> come back anytime, anytime. I will have you any time. Up next, Madonna, <laughs> Pinhead or Patriot. <laughs> Hey, that's the next celebrity. 
amazing. Yeah, Sorry. I, that should but be you an have entire to do channel. The shuffling of the papers, of not yeah. looking at them, just being like, you're done. You're done. <laughs> Cut his mic. You're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Cut his mic. Well, look, that, that was awesome. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was some real good therapy. <sighs> so, good. do we want to do. Another one, or should we move on? Well, dude, Twitch, actually, just no. see what the Twitch comments are saying. Don't let no, no, Miss no, okay. Love go Look, on I, it. But I, I will, what... I will. But I actually <laughs> want to talk about something that I want to learn. So, because I don't you know. You want to learn something, do yeah, you? Of I course, you ask do. You something, four eyes. And I'm, what? <laughs> I'm gonna make this into a segment, dude. What is happening with Michael Moore? Why is everyone pissed off with uh, that yeah. guy? Oh, well, we should allow me to do that classic Joe Rogan swing of, <clears throat> huh? You see, the thing about that is, but I have huh. just done a video on it, and I would say that the reason that they're upset with him is because he's a stupid motherfucker. That was re. Why did he release that? Well, I don't know what happened. Just, well, I'm clueless. You're gonna have to explain it. I read yeah. one headline. Like I read, I, like, like I, literally yeah. a few weeks, uh, like two weeks ago, everyone loved him, and all of a sudden, everyone hates him. So I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah. That video, that documentary happened. But what, what's, what what's the documentary I don't, I don't about? Know I don't know. Sorry, we, I haven't seen the documentary. That's what I'm sharing. You know what the documentary would have been? It would have been fine if Werner Herzog was saying it and just going like, the wind turbines in vain try to go across for a future that is brighter. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't blow all the time. That, <laughs> is that, that, is that the been, person well, that does Tony Robbins' intro movies? Intro videos? I think that's his wife. Right, right, okay. It's pretty right. much the same. Just a very scary, weird German accent that, yeah, like, yeah. you just, like, from... How deep in the Soviet Union did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you, you sound were, so horrified? You're not from Moscow. You're from Georgia. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> All right, so, okay, so, wait, so he's shitting on wind turbines? That's what's happening? Yeah, pretty much. He's just saying that wind turbines kill birds. You know, kill as birds. noble as they are. No, he's not that stupid. But pre- he does say those stupid talking points of like, wind doesn't blow all the time, neither does the sun shine. <laughs> he says that numerous times in the video. But basically, that movie is like releasing the iPhone, like CNET writing a review for the iPhone 1 and releasing it today. And, th- and being like, here's why you shouldn't get an iPhone. Here's the bugs in it. It's from 10 years ago. Obviously, the technology is what's, improved. Wait, so now you've got, like, shields that protect birds from, like, going in? Is that what's happening? I don't know why you're so obsessed with this bird's point. You have been watching no. way too much Sky News. I do, and it is amazing. <laughs> you are really into it. It's no, crazy. I, yeah. I, I didn't know this whole world existed. Sky News yeah. is batshit crazy, and it is freaking funny. Not all the time. No, yes. all the time. <laughs> Cause, cause but it should just be renamed. Just real second, it should be just renamed Content Cop for China. Content Cop. It's just basically an old boomer version of iDub sitting there just being like, why, why are they bowing like that? That should really cringe. Yeah, because <laughs> it started off with like me. <laughs> and it, sure. dude, they, they constantly shit on China. Like they like I've been watching it for like almost three months now, and for the for the last two and a half months they've been shitting on China until the ambassador was like, "This is too much. We're not going to tolerate this, and we're going to stop trade." And then they were like, "Oh my God, China's being a bully now." Two Sky News, no, no or just, just Sky News in, in general, just Australia in general. Good. Mm. Why is it always that when Trump does that, it's a bold move, but when Xi Jinping offers, like, says, like, we're going to just trade sanction you because you're pissing us off, everyone's just yeah. like, this is tyranny. Yeah. Well, it's, I suppose it's narratives and, the pers- you know. Yeah, the thing that we talk <laughs> about see, on this podcast every episode. Funny. Yeah, we, we talk about this every – okay, we're not going to get into this again. Yeah, we do. Okay, so basically, so you're saying that Michael Moore made a point that he doesn't like wind turbines and uh, alternative energy. Is that what's happening here? He was saying – What are his arguments? Let's give him his due credit. His arguments are that the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow all That's the time. That's bullshit. That's not, that can't be his argument. Yeah, which is also not true. It fucking does. Yes. That's yeah. just a, a, a weather <laughs> fact. It does. Like, if you are not collecting sun from Queensland and there's, like, overcast there, it's not in Tasmania. And you know what else about our renewable uh, resources that we have potentially? First of all, we have 500 times the amount of renewable energy that Australia needs for its own domestic needs. So you can start exporting it. Yeah. But the other thing is... Um, Wait, what? What do you mean? 500 times the need of Australia? Yeah, we, we are sitting on a, a treasure trove. I assume- oh, potential. Yeah, potential. I thought you were saying we... 
No, but I like got this we, wrong. we would Carry have easily on. have had that. I assume. Yeah, it's, dude, we have a huge one more term of basically. Kevin Rudd. We'd all be running on wind turbines. Yeah, like our entire country is. Miss Love would have just like it's one little of those fans that like Chinese sports fans have on their head, and that'd be producing power <laughs> enough to power this roof. <laughs> but uh, oh, shit. they. <laughs> <laughs> we can all dream But they were saying uh, But the other thing is uh, Ross Garneau who prepared the Report for Kevin Rudd He's a genius economist You look at him once and you're like Wow you're the most boring human being I've ever seen in my life You, you are a genius that, He's one of those guys right um, But he was saying that he was talking to Germany Who has moved very far ahead in the process right? Every other one of their other nuclear, coal It's all going down the gurgler year by year Faster and faster Because they've hit that critical mass point He was talking to the guy that made their policy And he was sitting there being like I just don't understand it And he was like All right, what, what don't you understand there, Helmut And then he was just saying I just, It's just insane that, Look, you're the worst place in Australia To produce renewable energy is Southeast Tasmania that is better than the best place to produce renewable energy in Germany. And we're doing it. Hmm. That's the worst place. He does have an annoying accent, though. It's all about... It's all <laughs> well, about you've got you to do like pros and cons. Yeah. Pros, and cons. <laughs> pros and cons, exactly. Um, so what's, you so, don't know how much I agree with you. <laughs> so what's his, like... What's Michael Moore's solution at the end of it? So if no, so he's, he's saying, he's I, I like, couldn't watch it. I was triggered. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I ask also? Is it like is 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 another one of like is it a like is you know I don't mind Michael Moore, but it's like is the title of of the documentary just like you know another sort of snooty sort of just like you know like blowing like I don't know like like Fahrenheit blowing wind. <laughs> like is that what it's called? Or is it called like a lot of hot air? I'm from Ooh. that. Is that what it's called? A lot. Of I can't hot remember, air. but it was something along the lines of that. Okay, so yeah. so it was just it one of those out? like, oh, I'm right for the Sydney Morning Herald, and I thought of something very clever after three days. But is it out? Is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah how do you Once it's for free, and Once Sky News is just playing the... it. They're just playing the documentary basically in full. Right, yeah. Andrew Bolt actually said this. Easy. He just goes, "I'm just gonna just play this for as long as I legally can." Yeah, Go. Yeah, it's too easy. <laughs> but, but it's too easy for them because it's just like, look, one of your own kinds turning against you. It's like perfect. That was that was, that was literally the title that I clicked on. Yeah. Mm. The loony left turns on itself and attacks a reputable documentary filmmaker. Mm. It. The points are because it was made in 2010. He's just such a lazy filmmaker, the guy that created this, that he's done nothing in that 10 years. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, and then, like, this is the other thing. The whole time I was later? sitting there and I was like, you don't read, do you? Wait, when was it released? Huh? 2010. Yeah, no, it started in 2010 and it took him 10 years to make the documentary. But surely the technology's changed a million times since 2010. Solar, down by 60% in price globally. Wind, down by 80% in price. The amount of uh, efficiency that you've gone has gone from, I don't know, something like 15% retention to well over 30% retention. We're getting close to 40%. So it's like yeah. one of the most, it's going to become one of the most efficient captures of energy out of all of them. You wouldn't um, know it if you watched Channel 10 or Channel 9 or Channel 7 or any fucking free day. You, you wouldn't <laughs> know this because I... Have been partaking in the old free-to-air television more and more, and I can tell you. Well, they're not going to talk about this on MasterChef, are they? Well, they should. They should be, <laughs> frankly. Don't don't get me started. Why you keep talking cake. about cakes? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> well, they could slip it in there for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh God, you've you've got to give him his medicine in bubblegum flavor. It doesn't work otherwise. Yeah, it's true. Mm. No, but like it is. It, it, it's it's just bizarre to me that. This information is like not. It's, it's, Wait, it's, what is information? This information I don't is everywhere. Why this is bizarre to you, Miss Love? How long have you been doing this pod? Couple Four years? years? Yeah. Couple of years. The net? Is I don't know how this say? hasn't gone. Go no, but I don't, I don't understand how this hasn't. You're going to say go on the net, aren't you? No. no. I'm going to say, like, I, I don't know how more simply I can make this. It's not in those owners' interests for you to know that. I understand that. I understand that. It's just. I guess what I'm saying is it's just it's just sort of strange to me that there haven't been more like grassroots essentially friendly Geordies that are sort of pushing but it's reality? also, it's also reality? like reality. Okay, is that on. a weird concept? But no, Let's but there's about there's another reality. reason why yeah. you haven't heard of it. It's not just media bias. It's like look corporate bias and Australia's corporate. entire economy depends on like 
mineral export. But it doesn't. He's just told. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It, but it really does, doesn't. Though. No. Well, does it or it, uh, which is it? <laughs> because the other thing <laughs> Where is, we do, this is called a disagreement. No, but dude, I, I think like okay, I'm not saying no minerals export. It absolutely does. But if you're if you're talking about aluminium and iron ore, absolutely, but not coal. Yeah, not just right. coal. But that's also and on top of that, the, most of the money I think is like three times as much comes from coking coal, which is offset anyway. This is the whole thing that they're always narrative that they're throwing at Labor that they're like Anthony Albanese said that there's a future in coal. Don't vote for him. Wait a second. But he's talking about coking coal. What's, huh? what's that? Coking coal is what you use to make uh, steel, hey. and so it just burns much more efficiently and it's a lot cleaner. Lame. <laughs> Sounded like Malcolm Turnbull. Yeah, clean, clean coal. <laughs> clean but coal. The thing is, but it's true. It is. It's, it is true. And on top true. of that, you can't industrially displace that yet the, the technology for renewables just isn't there it can't it can do it on a very small scale yeah okay but it can't do it when you know china needs to like, i need full freights by friday like yeah it's yeah, gonna yeah. happen the infrastructure is not there for it right <laughs> the infrastructure is not there for the for the very for renewables is that what you're saying no it's it's it's, it's kind of there now actually okay dude so, you know like so it's it, it's a mixed match like okay well it, texas is a state that is known for producing oil, and I'm thinking, but it's also like renewable, massive and renewable. yeah. Because they, they were look, if you're in the business of energy, you essentially produce whatever is the most economical for you. The and free market, the free. Well, you know what? It is probably the best advocate of the free market that there is is mm. renewable technology yeah. because it's winning out yeah. despite being deliberately hindered. Well, that's you know what the Trump government did. I think I've told you these guys what? before, but he. Because coal and gas went to him and said that we're getting eaten alive by renewables. So then he made it law that every power station in the country, every energy provider in the country has to buy coal and gas before they buy wind and renewables. Damn. And everybody at the time was saying, this is going to kill renewables. Everybody sh shouted and screamed about it. Jeez. But again, because the technology is going so fast that within a year, even with that massive handicap, they're still beating them on price. And so Trump, the next year, had to pass this, where he was saying that um, subsidies to... No, 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 sorry. Now he's saying that with coal and gas, just coal and gas, wind and renewables and hydro aren't allowed to do this. Coal and gas, the energy the energy distributors, so like the, the power plants and stuff like that, can go to the energy providers and say, you have to pay this much for our energy and you have to buy it before you buy renewables. And still, even with them doing... Like, th that is as central economy as you can possibly get. Like, setting the price yeah. of how much this costs and saying you have to use this energy source. It's also super, the exact like, opposite of the free market. Yeah, exactly. And still with that, renewables are beating them. Yeah, well... Dang! And if they're, like, they're they're considering, you know, those subsidies that you get in Australia for solar panels yeah, at your houses? But, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they want to get rid of that. And in spite of whatever the coalition so is doing, which according to Noam Chomsky, Scott Morrison, Bolsonaro's and <laughs> Trump, it's just the worst out of, No, actually, Scott Morrison's worse, but it's just... Yeah, Bolsonaro sometimes says funny stuff. Trump is the worst. But he's saying... I mean, uh, Scott Morrison's the worst. He, the, he was saying that is those Bol are the three worst leaders on Earth. Is that the Earth. Brazilian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. wild. He's wild. I saw... I saw uh, Brazil has now... They had a spike of like 4,000 COVID deaths in like one day, and now they're like slowly being pushed up to like some of the highest like overtaking america some of the highest deaths well that's Brazil. what happens when your national strategy is quote brazilians are too tough to get COVID." i know and then the funniest thing is that was they, that I know. do you know that ali that was yeah. his quote yeah, 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 yeah. that was his strategy you know what his answer was you know what his answer was <laughs> Um, thank you, like ABC News. But his answer was just like, well, what, what? I feel bad for the people that died. What else do you want from me? Yeah? <laughs> legit, legit. And that's why we love him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but I've got to say, that is hilarious. <laughs> it is. But he does it with, like, Sweden is kind of doing the same thing. They just don't have a crazy leader that advocates it. There's a whole school no, of... No, but they've got that... They've got that clinical European voice going, we're going for herd immunity. So yeah. that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, so essentially... The Michael Moore docos, dog shit, and if you look at the numbers and you, and you you avoid the sort of corporate interest, well, you avoid it, the it PR. might have been relevant ten, 10 years, years ago, ago, and even then I could have ripped it but apart like, with technology existing then. Right. I even I always bring this when we end up talking about this. The problem with renewables is baseload power. It is not as fun. Uh, it's <laughs> it's the storage. We still don't have. Yes, we do. 
batteries. Well, with batteries, it is cheaper. Like the, as of the, last the, month. Um, the, the Tesla battery from South Australia, Elon is that what you're Musk. talking about? Not even just the Tesla ones. There's one just coming online from China and the EU is producing them as well. We could have been producing them. Thank you very much, Tony Abbott, for cutting the funding. But we were the ones that were pushing battery storage technology to the point that like, and then they just defunded it and got rid of all of our scientists, but they just went over to the EU and they went over to Tesla and now they're producing yeah, right. this technology. And but even a, with all of that, it's, it's cheaper. But it's a hard nut to crack. The whole, mean? like batteries, it's, apparently it's not as easy to do it. Everyone is trying to do it, but you know, like you've got your iPhone, your iPhone keeps getting better every year. And now virtually you can just like have a hologram and have sex with someone, but the battery still Where, dies every that? day. Yeah. I don't know. Like it's the battery still dies every day. Like battery by this point, they assume that we're our batteries are going to last for like weeks because mm -hmm. we're we're going to improve on our technology. But isn't that no, but they don't need to last weeks. This is the whole point. If you set up the energy grid correctly, and you have South Australia kicking online when Queensland doesn't have any, uh, you know, enough solar and wind coming through, and then they're replacing that, which is what they're doing now at the moment. Because this is what people don't understand. Coal plants last year. Sorry, the year they're before at a loss. Last. They're running at a loss. Is that right? Well, they're all running at a loss. That's true. But the other thing is, they broke down 118 times in one year. Jesus. And they're aging. They're going to keep breaking down. And they're running off a power grid that was built in the 19th century. <laughs> but if you build a 21st century power grid, guess what? A power grid that is built two centuries later is going to be more efficient. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't have the charm. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like seeing the graph blokes coming out with soot on their face. God, I do it. like that, and I will miss that. No, no, but dude, look, get black lung for the aesthetic. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, so we've got another segment. By the way, these segments are recommended by you guys. Um, so if you hate them, you're you're to blame. It's your fault. Uh, so okay, the the fans want to know what's your opinion on. Meeting people and making friends in this modern age in light of COVID. Fuck, what a Twitch question. Is that Twitch? a Twitch Isn't question? Is that more a Studio yeah, 10 that's like, question? Yeah, that's like no, a more that's Studio a, 10 question. No, that's an internet question. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of sad people watching at the moment, and thank you for doing so. So, how do you get a friend, losers? Let's go. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm not like, I'm, <laughs> one word, Tinder. Do you don't get friends that way. No, it's friends. <sighs> no, and you know what? Okay, so by the way, Sherry, for those of you, here's a plug. I have a YouTube channel, and for that, I was trying to call Holdsworthy Life. And for that, I was <laughs> trying to like find more. <laughs> hey, fuck off! I've got to do what I've got to do. And for that, I've wanted to find more like con like. That's not the point. The point no, is, I wanted funny. to find more content, like what I could do besides just like boring people with like politics and history. <laughs> it's not so. so harsh on do you know? Do you know what, Miss Love? Do you know what Omegle is? Is it like, no. I it's like a slightly cleaner chat roulette. So like, you know, when you were on chat roulette, 90% of- never on of, chat roulette. You, you've never jerked off so in front of a million- So this is the bumble to the Tinder of yeah, right. chat exactly. roulette. Okay. That's why you're my friend. Yeah. So- um, it's, the, it's the same So there's part. like, yeah, so look, there's still a lot of guys jerking off, but <laughs> not as much, right? So I went on, I went on that. Is that for a corporate slogan? <laughs> I went on that to, um, to see, like, to explore the world of Amigo. Dude, this place is fucked. But it's a way to make friends. If you Jesus. need that. But anyway, so, like, the entire <laughs> this audience. Is sad. Keep going. <laughs> this Keep the, okay, going. So this is the entire <sighs> audience. Miss yeah. Love, this is, this is crazy. So I'm so scared. At least 30 to 40% of the people on Amigo are... Kids, and when I talk about kids, I'm talking about like 10 to 14 year olds. Okay. But that's light for the net. No, Everything but this is, is not YouTube. This, is that's that. not the fuck bit. The fuck bit is another 20 percent are just exclusively dudes jerking off, old men <laughs> jerking off. There's a one in five <laughs> shot that they keep their innocence intact. No, there's so no fuck chance. Ah, right. so fucked up. Every technology always like descends into jacking. Yes. No matter what, people will find a way to jack off on it. But yeah, it is on. a really profound point, though, isn't it? That all of society is just advanced, basically, to just be like, can, can I get pushy now? Or I know. That's yeah, you point. can't blame him, can you? Yeah, no. And I tried, to, like, I tried to talk to some of those jerking off guys. I was like, what's the point? Like, what are you, what are you trying to get out of this? So what happens? Are you waiting for like a woman? So like at that point you're gonna come. Like what's what's the game plan? Yeah, I'm gonna answer them. Yeah, they would it. skip over. They didn't like that question at all. They they would want girls or someone. <laughs> wow, else. who would have thought the people that jack off into a webcam to strangers are lacking self reflection? 
But he, I, I did find, I did find a champ. Fan. I did find a champ. So I skipped over. There was this. How big uh, was his cock? He's, uh, so there was this one guy. He was probably <laughs> like he was probably like. Oh no, he told me how old. he was like twenty two or twenty three. What? What? So the, I met this one guy. This is this is a funny guy. Yeah. I wish I was recording this. So he was about twenty two to twenty three years old. He was living in Texas. And so I started asking him, like, what, do you, what gets you on, amigo? Why are you here? So he was, look, he was, uh, let's just, I don't know what the, the best politically correct way of, he was intellectually handicapped. Is that how you? Yeah, he was disabled. Is that right? Is that what you said? Yeah, mentally, not physically. Mentally disabled. I yeah, okay. A dumbo. Out. Look, you all know what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Twitch goes, show us your big ears, jumbo. All yeah. the lights just turn <laughs> off. These guys all run out, run out of the room. Universe. Yeah, yeah. Right I wasn't he here. That he's the one who has a lot to lose, and we have fuck all. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. This is ridiculous. Hey, hey four thousand subs is close to five thousand. Yeah, and three hundred oh, is close to four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Forest Hall. <laughs> but make my shoe do a Forest Hall shout out. Go. Amber forever. <laughs> you know this song? Of course you don't, because you're not subscribed to Forest Hall, as no one is. <laughs> <laughs> but you can hey. change that. <laughs> All right, you no. had your plug, go. So this guy, that, so I asked him, that. like, what brings him on Amigo? Like, what's his, what's his deal? And he was like, oh, so this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, like, chat with as many girls as possible. So he was saying what he does is you can, what you can do on Amigo is um, you can choose an interest. And anyone that has chosen the same interest, you're more likely to start talking to them. Okay. So he said that I chose, I would choose things like ponies or horses that would hopefully get me more women. And I was like, but what's the point? Like, why would you want to talk to them when like you, like you can't even meet them. They could be from anywhere in the world. It's like, no, that's how I met my last girlfriend. Oh, I'm sure it happened. So he says, this is, this is what happened. So he says that he used to live in Wisconsin and he started chatting oh, to some- Wisconsin. Sorry. He started ch nice chatting to, to some yeah. girl that lived in Texas. And apparently, according to him, this girl was a track and field player. She was an athlete. Mm -hmm. So they start talking to each other. And then like for two years, they're talking to one another. Eventually, I haven't met her. Okay. Then he moves down to Texas where she lives. Starts dating her, start living together. And then according to him, I'm not saying this, he said that he's like, but then the problem was as soon as she found a boyfriend, she started getting really fat. And fat to a point where I didn't want to be with her. This is coming from a guy that is severely intellectually handicapped, by the way. Was he fat? No, well, he was he was chubby, but he wasn't like I don't even know how fat this girl was or like if like this hunchback from it's like the Larry David hunchback from. Notre but I told my girlfriend that numerous times. Like, if you can't leave the house, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a limit. There has yeah, to be. Say? So he said that I eventually broke up with her, and I was like, okay, cool. And so it was like that, but then I decided that uh, Wisconsin sucks. Standards. I'm gonna stick in. I'm gonna live in Texas instead. So I was like, okay, so what, what's happening now? He's like, oh, I'm back on Omegle to find my next girlfriend. So that's his entire thing. Right. He literally. That's his game. That's his Tinder. So you're saying that uh, that's a good way to meet people. I don't know. That's what this guy was. Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. How about, how about the old, not to play the boomer in the room, but a bar. Am I right? No, the question is but meeting if people you, if you go to a and bar, making them more than age. Look, yeah, you, just, you oh, hang oh, out oh, with right dogs, now, you're going to get fleas. If you hang around <laughs> bars, you will make friends, but they will drag you down with them and make sure you never leave that bar. Yeah. Do you want to be a member of the new cast of Cheers? Because that's the way to do <laughs> yes. it. Yes. Yeah, you clearly I do. do. But I mean, like, and it will be based around your life. You'll be Ted dancing. But clearly... <laughs> You're late. Yo, lighten up. <laughs> um, but clearly, what you're saying, you're saying that like you know the old adage of like clubbing. You know, Dude, fuck no, but they're, talk, they're talking about not, they're not talking about puss. They're talking about friends. Yeah, they're talking meeting about meeting people. No, okay. I'm saying it's the same thing as always. You find out what you're interested in, which I'm assuming because of Twitch will be what? Like hentai games? Is that, <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're into? Here? No cakes. We established this. Why are you looking down on that? <sighs> Yeah, like, okay, say that you like baking and just think of all of this as a metaphor for hentai games, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Poppy seed baking means Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> We've established that, right? Okay, so now, so now you've identified that you're like, you like Dragon hentai Ball porn. X. Then what happens? GT. Um, what did you say? So if you've identified that you're into like hentai porn, what yeah. happens? How do you find do you other do? people that what are also do? into What's it? the next step? Um, first of all, I think you go see a psychologist. The second thing... <laughs> 
Dude, is. our numbers are going down. Stop saying <laughs> that. 30 just changed to 29 and it hasn't no, moved the whole that's time. What, that's what the Twitch audience would be like. Just, they, they probably are jacking off with the way we're going like, yeah, tell me I'm a piece of shit. Well, yeah, you yeah. should like, what? like, sh- like basically turn off if you're not jacking off right now, obviously. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing on Twitch? Our whole um, production team is jerking off right now. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. So yeah, one these, guy's these are just fake hands and we're doing it in our pants now. <laughs> One's just crying. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just having um, a look at this just in case things are going smoothly. Going south. He's, that's he's probably not a good idea in. while we're insulting them. But How, yeah, no lucky. one's listening anymore. Okay, good. How lucky is it? Can I, can I just do a little shout out to the net? Because... I'm telling you, I'd be six feet it under. It really needs to shout out. Like 30 years ago, if I was, I don't know, in my 40s or 50s, I would have been six feet under without having the privilege of, you know, my crappy bloodstones on this mad map. You know what I mean? Like You still would have, have those crappy I would, I would. But I'm though. saying like this, just the opposite. <laughs> they might even be better because you, you go to church and polish up for a Sunday fight. True. These are from them. <laughs> yeah. But Anyway, it's mad. It's so mad that we can say this stuff. It's crazy, am I right? Anyway. I guess that's how we're making friends. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. Geez, the internet, make your friends. I you look, I'm going to... Uh, no, 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 no. But what I say is you... You go into groups of things. This is just common sense and it just happens anyway because that's how human psychology works. But you go into groups of your own interest. That's how you make friends. But yeah. how do you, you do you it? Huh? How do you do but, it? That is How great. do you're doing right now? If you're on the friendly Geordie's Discord, yeah. and you're just like, so you know what? No, you're right. So the apps do help. The apps, you know, those things like Discord. Twitch. What a, what a, what a know what niche is demographic nah, that but, is. It's like, do you hate the Liberal Party and Maths? <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> actually, come on, that's not that. No, no, yeah. No, they would go that. hand in hand. Actually, I'd imagine most Liberal voters would be like, oh, Sandra. Yeah, they would. They would. Yeah, no, you know what? The, it, look, all jokes aside, guys, the net is, if you really think about it, I mean, unless, basically the net is a platform where if you're just a sort of reasonable person with you, you don't even have to be reasonable. If you just have the capability to meet a real human being in the flesh, old school style, then the net is a great platform to like jump off and then meet people you know, in the flesh. I think there's just a tiny proportion of people that can't make that little leap of, you know, meeting, talking to someone face to face. And that's, you, that's an indictment on you. But that's if you a, can just, you yeah, if you no, can just master is- that thing, which you should have, I, I, I would assume that the majority of people would master unless you're really into COD, then <laughs> you should, you know, I think that that is a great tool to meet people. There's so many apps now. You don't even have to do anything. You just be like, I don't hey. know if it helps. I genuinely don't think if it no, helps. it does. Because it like, does. okay, look, that's, no, that's no, 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 it is definitely true though that uh, the the internet has made society in general a lot less so. Yeah, less reclusive, every, and also you can't yes. go to a pub and not right now. Strike up a, not right no, now. not right now. But like just generally, even before COVID, it's getting harder and harder for people to actually go to a pub and strike a conversation with someone that they don't know. Like I was talking to my mom, yeah. she would tell me things like back in the day in public transport she would whoever she was sitting next to on the train they would start talking that does not happen anymore Japan I don't know if that ever happened in Australia though but yeah, I do know really. that there is cultures that are more like but that, I'm yeah. guessing it would happen more often than it does now yeah now everyone's yeah. literally on their phone and it has to just dude, I don't really I don't really buy that I don't buy that like if you just delete a few if you delete like Instagram the Facebook app just the app and then delete messenger you get bored and then you in, humans need like 99% of humans need face to face human connection to to feel uh, to have like a meaningful life yeah but you can always get those sex robots now i don't like, buy it he, he, I'm just saying, like, there's ways out of it. Ali definitely has some. Jesus for sure. Christ! Yeah, of course. dude, sex <laughs> robots. Actual- sex robots don't feel. Um, do you know what? How I, do you know? Because, like, I've never. I don't know, but I'm really assuming. I bet you they feel better. <laughs> They're probably getting there. You think? Dude, that, are you saying like, you, dude? There's scientists that are better than God at this kind of stuff. So you're saying if I touch a sex robot's hand, it's going to be as warm as yours? No, yeah, but like if you've got like just, a just mechanism little, in it. There's ways to do it. All I'm saying up, is, up. I'm just saying this. Have you ever had sex with a person whose vagina vibrate? <laughs> no. Dude, so case closed. I, feel like I, I think it probably works. Huh? <laughs> no, love probably wouldn't. No, dude, I think you guys. Meth addicts shake vigorously all the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I've bagged a couple in Leith, guy. I think. I, th- <laughs> I think that. No, like, my point I is, think- look, I'm just saying, like, look, is, this is. Uh, 
Japan is like the most, I it's guess, technologically example. advanced yeah. country in the world, it's right? It's an anecdotal ev- It's not anecdotal. It's an entire country. But it is country. also an extremely introverted society. But yes, I will pay that. Do 25% of the people, 25% of people between the ages of like... 18 to 40 are asexual. Yeah, but dude, that's a sickness. Like, I don't think- What do you mean it's a sickness? Okay, if, if you say it's a sickness, what do you think caused that sickness? A million I think it was things. a combination of technology, but I also think it's the, the fact that I don't think that there's that Myers-Briggs test. I don't think it exists in Japan. I don't think there's such a thing as an extrovert. Yeah. They're, they're extremely insular people. Look, I get, always look, have been. I, I understand. I look, I understand that, that I would agree with that argument if we were in Blade Runner twenty forty nine world and there's human beings that have. Aren't we? <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, we're not. How has, do you know we're not? <laughs> how do you every, know we're not in the Matrix? Uh, like, uh, Joe, Joe, no, Joe, please, boys, <laughs> it's way too. Prank the weed bring out. Me, bring me no, my but joint. Like, what I'm saying is like, yeah, twenty forty nine. You're one hundred percent right. Hundred percent. Now. The sex dolls look scary. <laughs> like it's all a lot of <laughs> shit. Like at this point, I don't buy any of this crap. J- uh, Japan is an exception. <sighs> Let's ignore Japan because in the very in, in the very least, it, it, like we can all agree, it's a fucking weird society. It's an awesome society, but it's also fucking weird. So in reality, if there's some poor s- poor sod out there, poor fellow or you know, gal. No, but it's definitely true, though. He's he's definitely right about that, that the poorer a society is, the more people interact. A, because they have to. B, because I don't I'm think sh- technology exists. I'm sure, that the, I'm sure there's truth to that. But what I'm saying is I, if, you're, if, you're, if you're equalizing technology to uh, happiness or, like, fulfillment, um, it's a tiny, tiny proportion of the world that is sitting... If, you, if you're sitting on Discord and jacking off, you're not, you're not happy. Conversely, if you're in Japan with a really good sex doll, you might be happy. But at this point, in Australia, <laughs> in this country, meet someone on Tinder. You don't even have to have banter yeah. anymore. No. You don't even have to have banter anymore. And then you go, yeah. let's screw. Okay. And then from then, and then the next stage is, hey, like, look, people, Dude, is this you, so hard? I don't know. What's you, your favorite Tinder Netflix enough. show? They're going to get married. Done. Fuck, it's five dude, words. Love, as always, is that's is not really how it shown works. Light. But I also yes, think it, it's it exactly other, how it, it works. Well, it works for Miss Love. No, it no, works for Miss Love. I, I don't look. Here's the thing. No, but the thing is, look, as as like, a, as a as a person who's used Tinder probably more than you have never used it because you've been in a relationship for I ten can't, years. Thanks to who's watching. <laughs> but like, as someone who's used it more than anyone else has. The thing that gives you an edge, even on dating apps like Tinder, is being able to have a conversation when you meet them. That's my point. No, 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 but that's what that's what I'm saying. My my point is, don't depend on any of this. Put yourself in a difficult position. Go to a random stranger yeah. and start talking. And the best thing about that is. Even if you fuck up, they're a stranger. They're going to walk exactly. by. So that's how you make friends. Exactly. No, but this is the momentum age. of going and talking to these people. It's just the people that are yeah. asking that don't have any friends to begin with. Read the five second and, rule then. Yeah, you read the five second rule. That's the first point. Wait, like, but I think that the other thing is... Up and eat something? What? I, I, what? What's the five second rule? I thought that was like if you drop like Twinkie, <laughs> you can pick it up More or less. within yeah, five seconds. That's basically what it is. It's just, a, it's just a book that says... But you know why that actually well, does work, the five second rule? It is the psychology behind it. It's kick it's your like, ass into action. That's all it is. Kick your ass into action. Yeah. But you kick your ass into action by saying five, four, three, two, one, and it breaks the neurocircuitry that you have in your brain that was going on a train of thought because you've just you interrupted it with your counting. Logic. You push through logic and feelings because generally feelings just hinder everyone. So it's just this idea of like, oh, yeah, you've thought about it and just fuck, you have to do it now. And then like, So basically like blitz equivalent of yeah. like so just – just go for it. Is that what you're saying? Just go for it. You have rip to rip a bandit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, rip the bandit off. And like- but it definitely works in your favor, though, Miss Love, because you're a highly sociable person. But yeah, I don't know if you've that. learned this from working in Lithgow in grisly <laughs> kitchens, but some people are pretty fucked. Okay, here, I've got another solution for you. Yeah. In- instantaneous solution. Don't have a personality, don't know how to socially interact. Go watch Paper, Di- Paper Tiger, the Bill Burr, Bill Burr fucking. Uh, Stand-up show, just ape his moves, and next time you meet some chick, <laughs> ape he's sorted. Dude, just Bill Burr like, no. is not the right act to do. I to impress it is. Someone. Who gives a shit? No, that's Tom true. Somebody, like no, 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 no. Old but, digging whore out there, dude. That is not. If somebody me. doesn't have the grizzled wherewithal of thirty years of going up on open mic nights, okay, fine. That can go 
horribly okay, wrong. Okay, maybe that's what I'm like, what's your name? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, there's, it's not going to work. I can't see it going people. badly. Dude, I what's, the, what's the alternative then? What should they, what should, what's something that people. I think uh, they should ape Mislove. I, I think they should AP him. Has a, so this is what worked for that. me. I no, don't know if it will work for everyone, but I remember like. But you're talking about Puss Ali. No, no, I'm, I'm not. Ali's good. Uh, Mislav's making good at making friends, huh? I'm not necessarily just talking about Puss. I'm just talking about like generally making connections. It's the same sort of logic. We're all agreeing here, really. We're not, aren't we? No, look, I'm just saying that. In this modern age, th- this is my thesis. Get a sex In this dog. modern age, no, I'm saying that you, <laughs> you'll eventually find those. This is such crap. a bad show to get friends' advice from. Here's my thesis on Check social on. interaction. <laughs> my so- Which camera am I talking into? Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying get rid of the crutches. Even if you have the potential of finding someone on Facebook that you might have a mutual interest with. Oh, you're saying just go all out and delete Go all them. out. I'll go with that. I'll agree with that. Go all out. And yeah, all- you can do that, but I'm saying that go with it aping somebody with a positive vibe around them because yeah, right. if yeah, you that's... are your internet-y negative little <laughs> self that sits there just writing bitchy comments on everything just being like First. that's not it that's original you know yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy <laughs> that guy but this is what I think... you're not you're you you're not going to do well out there yeah yeah you need to go out there with that just look this should be your this should be your guidance from now on. The theme song to the Lego movie, everything's awesome. You will yeah. make Yeah, fame. that's yeah. a good frame. Also, here's another But that doesn't work with so this is I like I I think I remember when I was younger, what really worked for me was so you're mostly you can't talk to a stranger, you can't talk to you can't make friends for that because you're self conscious. You feel like whatever you have to say right. is not worth it. That's the main concern, right? The way I circumvented it when I was younger was I was forced to do a play when I was very young and I went on the stage and I started, um, I realized that, oh, I can be whoever the hell I want because everyone's just going to attribute these characteristics to the character instead of me. So then I started to like just do that in real life. Mm. So I would pretend to be someone totally different. In fact, that's something that I still do and when I go on like holidays and if I don't know anyone, I will pretend to be someone completely different. So like one of the first things that like, it's like seven shines if you're a serial killer. I don't know. Maybe I am a serial killer. <laughs> he's got you there, Ali. Yeah. No, no, no. But if it works, no, it works. right, though. No, it's not about working. It just makes me feel like, oh, if they have a bad impression of me, it's not actually me. It's someone else. That's true. But also, Ali, you are a psycho. <laughs> but that, that definitely does. It that's works. That's true. Right. There, there's a lot of psychological studies that talk about that, that if you just walk into a situation and you just pretend that you're Bruce Wayne yeah. or whatever, Dude, I pretend to you be are going you to often. do better in that social I'm already story. up. Yeah. And, 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 and here's another one. Is yeah, yeah, <laughs> and exactly that. Here's another one for you. Knock down two Shirley Temples. Yeah, there, instant personality. Except for people on the Central Coast that are all meth addicts. Wait, what does that mean? Got, yeah, that's not going to work for you. Wait, I don't know what that means. Knock down who? Drink two goddamn Manhattans, goddamn it. Again, you're relying on like... But that's, I'm again, too, because your personality person. is just naturally attractive because you're an upbeat, positive, <laughs> easygoing guy. But I'll oh, stop it. You, you have not met these people. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. And... <laughs> Actually, no, I have to. And the thing is that, yeah, they they are very negative, self-hating people. Yeah, yeah. You need to get over that first. Yeah, I can't wait to learn. And you can do it with the power of affirmations and Tony Robbins' unlimited power. Yeah. But it's true. Like, honestly, (laughs) if you start reading self-help books, it's it's the same message that I say every time. No, but he's right. It's true. He's right. You need to be an upbeat person if you're not like in the social situation. Dude, that, I don't know how you feel about it, but, like, yeah, I read... Awaken the giant within, as anyone who's a fan of the pod knows, because it took me, I don't know, 10 years. But then, yeah, I didn't mind I didn't mind that book. Like it was kind twice of, as long as you've been doing the pod. No, yeah, Death was, of Europe took you 10 years. Stop yeah. time traveling, I'm sick. <laughs> but that but that was interesting. But I have to say, unlimited power. I've nearly finished it. It took me like a week. I'm zipping through it. And like, dude, it's mad. I don't know, Ali, I know, I know you might have your doubts and stuff, but it's genuinely a lot. Just read the book, God damn it! You'll be fine. It's it's basically just like the power of breathing, the power of water, nutrient foods, the power of confidence, the power of uh, action. Like, it's just a lot the power better. Power of going to a hardware store. Yeah, <laughs> the power of going to Bunnings. Like, all I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure it's you'll get more out of it, slightly more out of it than Harry Potter two. Yeah, maybe not one. That's but two definitely. Uh, it's a huge crusade of mine. Stop reading fiction. Yeah, you don't Unless, have time for it. Maybe not the classics, right? 
What are the classics? Harry Potter one. No. Um, what's that? Uh, Catcher in the Rye. I'll read it one day. And like, you know. The I read that book. Don't bother. Really? Well, I how- mean, this is bit, like, I'm, I'm so... I'm so down on literature. What about Animal, Form, 19, Animal Farm 1984? Yeah, and see, he's yeah, so wanky, of course. It's like, yeah, that one makes you think, but it does. So what is it? So yes? Yeah, yeah I yeah, do. Re- well, I, but the thing is, again, like... Huckleberry Finn! But you shouldn't read... Because this is the whole thing, right? That was a metaphor of Soviet Russia, but as we discussed in the yeah, previous yeah. pod before we went to Twitch <laughs> Studios, yeah. it's that's apparently. not how Soviet Russia was. Yeah. Well, that's that's another story. But look, read the book. Yeah, you won't admit it. Dude, how is it like every time we manage to convince you? And understand that Stalin should be looked up like a Nelson Mandela figure (laughs) in life, all right? I got my problems with him too. Um, (laughs) Stalin, are you crazy? (laughs) But anyway... Who do you like apart from Reagan? Yeah, who? And I don't (laughs) like Reagan. You do. You like the fact that he jokes around. FDR, JFK. Boom. I like but that. see, this is the thing. We've got very snide opinions about JFK and are pretty sympathetic yeah. towards Stalin. Oh, for what, what a Dude, weird... Yeah, yes. Stalin Stalin was all right. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's not get into it. Like, I mean, look, he had We're his in Surrey kids. Hills already, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Stalin was all right. <laughs> now, well, think was... about it. Because we're all human, aren't we? Those people had to die. Dude, it you was know who was... No, I don't think it was the snow. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I have been looking into. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. Can we just approve? Booty, what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, Stanley, what's your crack deputy be, she? Yeah, all right, now continue. Yuck, 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 yuck. I have figured out who is the real boss of the 20th century. Marx. No, that was not the 20th century. Shit. Deng Xiaoping. Is that a meal? Do you know who that the is? The guy who I'm pretty sure named himself after the sounds in a ping ball machine. <laughs> yeah, is that the number 13? What is that? Dude, that's the crazy bit. No one knows about Deng Xiaoping. And he is clearly... He's the Paul Keating of China. He's, <laughs> he's the Paul Keating. Dude, he is responsible you're, you're, you're for You're riveting bringing... me. You're holding... I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> okay, how about this? this, this yeah, this. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Like, just no, make go a, on. I'm joking. Make a go Tame on. Impala reference every second sentence. <laughs> he had really long hair. Sick. Not true. He was bald. He was a very old man. Go on. But, dude, he was responsible. So he looks like Tame Impala when he's older. <laughs> All right, now I'm in. He looks I'm like I'm pretty Tame sure Impala. that Tame Impala is secretly a Chinese 80-year-old. If they matter, he was Tame Impala. <sighs> dude, he is responsible for bringing out 500 million people out of poverty. Damn. That was is that, that, is that, that a good him. pitch? Oh, was yeah. Is that a good oh, pitch? So- what, he's like the the deputy prime minister of China or something? No, no, so he came after He was, Mao. sort of, wasn't he, at a point? Uh, yeah. And then like Mao got sick of him and chucked him in prison. He was in the cabinet for ages, but, yeah. but he, so he yeah. came after Mao. You shouldn't sound like a pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. That's like most of them. Yeah. So uh, he, he... The net explodes. He was the one who opened up Chinese economy. Yeah, So nice. he moved it from like uh, Mao's like... Yeah, really you would love this quote. Basically, because oh, I like this quote, so I assume you'll like it. But yeah. His most famous quote is, It doesn't matter if it's a black or white cat, as long as you kill mice. <laughs> that's I, what he means. That's, it's like, that's, it's, that's, it's just thought, a very Chinese way of saying, do what's practical. Chinese Reagan. Dude, no. <laughs> no, Chinese, no. no, he's not Chinese Reagan. Kind Chinese of. Reagan. Chinese Reagan. Chinese Reagan. No, I reckon, you know who Chinese Reagan is? The guy that Mao, Mao fought. That's uh, Chinese right. Reagan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that obviously Chinese not Chinese Reagan. Reagan the Reagan the guy who ended up, who set up Taiwan is actually Chinese, Chinese Reagan. Right, right. Um, and he is Chinese Reagan. But you know what was like the coolest thing about this guy? Because I've been like researching him for the video, for a video. He was so good at his job because he did so little of it. Mm. Like he, so when he, um, so as soon as like Mao died, People in China were, uh, or the Chinese like Communist Party were like, okay, so now Mao is dead. How do we make sure that millions of people don't starve every year like they have been before? And so, because Mao had like his own command economy ideas, right? Where he would force them to make chairs instead of like growing wheat, which is why they died. Um, so, so this so instead of like, so they, there were all of these ideas like, we should set up wheat farms. We should do all of this. And Deng Xiaoping said, you know what would be the best solution? Don't do anything. Yeah. Let them do that motherfucker what they have red Lao Su. Isn't that the free market? 
Well, in a yeah. way, but his point was so that essentially just like a free market, like Dem. No, he wasn't a, a free. Thing, no, he wasn't right? a free market here at all. His point. The reason right, why he right. said don't do that. No, but was, he's, he's he, basically what he is is an intelligent leader. It's just that sometimes the free market's the answer, and sometimes sometimes it's, yes. it's not. That's the Damn. point. So, I, I don't care if it's a black or white cat as long as you kill most. What? See, yeah. that's practical. That's he's yeah. a practical. He's mad. Dude, yeah. he was the definition of uh, uh, a pragmatic leader. Pragmatic. He so so the, the opposite of an ideologue, basically. Yeah. So the and reason why he just chuck in a nice chunk of Lao Tzu in there, that's all he was always yeah. saying. It's like the best leader does nothing. That's yeah. really cool. Well, and in, in certain in instances, does nothing. His point was that there is no way you are going to be able to help someone the way they will be able to help themselves. Hmm. They everyone knows what exact problem they're going through. So, like, even when his uh, governors or people from different states would ask him what should be the policy for our state, he would say, "What do you think should happen?" Dude, the best social program is a job. Come on. I don't know how that relates, though. Because he's trying to say that Deng Xiaoping is Reagan of China. He's he still is on that not train. Reagan of China, Miss Love. I'm just saying. Get off that train. <laughs> okay, I'm off that train. I'm just saying that, look, that's mad. That's a cool, it's essentially like, you know, Reagan when you have to be and then interview. He is when not you have to Reagan. Be. He is never <laughs> Reagan. Anyway, how long have we got, guys? 15 minutes. All right. All right. Got plenty of Thanks, guys. We had some laughs, we, especially at our new cash membership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We shung. <laughs> Wait, are we <laughs> finishing? Are we out. wrapping it up? Hmm? Are we wrapping it up? Is that what's we happening? 15. Well, we got 15 minutes. Just see what, just see what they're All saying. Right, we'll just Let's riff on that lazily. <laughs> who who is gonna tell Ali about Deng's uh, human rights abuses? I will tell you about Deng's human right abuses. Deng, the guy that we were just talking about. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Uh, man, look. Okay, fine. I, okay, it's, I'm it's move just on, move no, on. but it just needs to be explained a million times about China because the, the propaganda be strong in this one, yo. Yes, human rights abuses exist in China. The the worst the, in the, the world. The difference is that we are not. They are not. District one to the US, like we are. They're not, they're like close little dog that just like sits there and every time they just remove a pr prime minister of ours by the CIA, we're just like, that's okay, that's okay. We just install Fraser, that's fine. But they're not like that. They are a country that created their own sovereign nation and had to build it up through. 200 years of decay from an extremely yeah. corrupt royal family. You gotta look at the, the context. entire infrastructure was out. And they have to bring up 1.3 billion people with them. It That's is a, a, a historical accomplishment that there is nothing comparable to in the world. Even if India does it, and they never will, because they're not doing what China does, it still wouldn't show you like a fair comparison of what the two are because the British actually had set up proper infrastructure in India that, you know, was obviously was inadequate. Was absent in China. Yeah. In fact, they set it up. Right, right. To supply opium to China. <laughs> and when <laughs> they just narco terrorism. And when like when China said no opium, they said no, we're gonna wage war against Dude, you. Dude, think about that. Like, okay, just think about how like you're always just watching all these documentaries just about like, man, the the crack epidemic in uh in Detroit really speaks to me, despite the fact that I'm in Australia and a hipster in Newtown. <laughs> but they, they, you know, like yours just being like, that's fucked in there, man. Imagine if there was just a hundred years of that and the entire nation was Detroit. Yeah. And there's no cars. And also, you, can it's not be, it's, you can't stop being Detroit. If you stop being Detroit, we'll wage a war against you. Look, once again, I'm the one person in between two fluttering red flags in the Chinese wind. You got some <laughs> points. I will be the voice of re I mean, look, you do have a lot of points and it's true, but and, and it scares me how quickly you would both kowtow to the regime. It's so- No, it is. Uh, I'll, I'll do it in advance. It's so scary. I, I probably wouldn't, dude. I would it's not so want to scary. live in a really oppressive society. And I'm not even denying- Look, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not denying- but Really, what is oppressive about it? These, these are the two things that you don't have there. It's this just like, wouldn't be shut the fuck this up about be. the government and- You can't just be us don't in run. China. I, mean, I think you, you could be me in China. No. I'm like their biggest advocate here. Yeah, so. yeah but you. <laughs> I think they'd be pretty cool with. Yeah, what I don't think they'd say. be cool with me. Why? Like, yeah, because you actually have some I, criticism. I have might like, I say <laughs> heresy. Yeah, but Jordan is very like I don't know what the word is, but you know, Turkmenistan is his he, he likes, ideal society. Yeah, he yeah, likes he likes totalitarian. To, to, totalitarian you know, yeah, like regime. he looks. He's no, 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 but, no. I'm into dictators that are independent. If they're puppets of the U.S., they're yeah, terrible. Yeah. No, and but I get that. But if you are a dictator in a country, 
that is running up against the US empire, you need strong government and you can't yeah, have an opposition. Yeah. You don't have time to fuck around with and, uh, you know It's what? a different environment. Jordan, yeah, Jordan, They'll eat you up if you were No, weak. I understand that. And Jordan has made so many sensical points in regards to this subject. Like so many to the point where it's just constant re- constantly red peeling me. And like the only argument I have in return is just like, yeah, but- Jimi Hendrix and burritos. And he's like, well, I can't argue with that. And then the only, the only, <laughs> the, I can't. The, yeah. I've been trying to crack know, that up for five years. He keeps trying to put forward the old, the old man p- playing the Urhu. The, ee, 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 ee. And I'm like, nah. And then I'm like all along the watchtower. And he's like, well, but, but that doesn't trump your points. It's just a shame that totalitarian, totalitarian, I'm just a hipster and totalitarian governments don't bust out like, you know, ooh, Tame Impala. They get, <laughs> the president going dee, dee, dee. what's wrong with that it's there's nothing wrong with it but again we're going to come at a crossroads because jordan i know this is a concept you're not going to get your head around and we're never going to come to go an on, agreement but yep i don't like all of my music to be fucking stupid i know i'm sorry <sighs> agree to disagree you're gonna to have to run that by me one more time <laughs> You seriously you're, don't like footage of Gerben Gooley you're a on girl. a really unbelievably white Casio keyboard no. that is <laughs> very outdated, <laughs> playing <laughs> like no. bad Dude. 80s synth, Dude. bad. I, no, <laughs> quite the contrary. I love it. I just don't want to have, have to listen to that all the time. I know. Uh, they've got songs that are talking about how good Ashgabat is as well by fat guys that look like the dictator. It's not going to cut it, dude. <laughs> Ali, where are you on this? One? I love Gerben Gooley and his horrible piano playing skills. Yeah. Dude, in fact, there like the go. whole setting. Then finally, some common sense. You don't need Pink Floyd in your life. You're happy to have... Dude, I would you Mirror, mirror, mirror. But I'm I mean, saying, like, if I had a choice of going to those two concerts, I'm going to Gerben Gooley's. And I know you will as well. I, I probably, know you will. I probably would. I just want the option of some snooty English douche playing a synth. And I can't have that there. <laughs> and... Uh, Dude, it's so good. And there's no beach it's burrito in argument. Turkmenistan. Really, when you go down to the argument of why these totalitarian Culture. regimes are really bad, it's kind of just like, cause you have to get a VPN to look at porn. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, actually, that is a and pretty dead you, fact. You, that would be a problem too. Don't, 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 don't you play devil's, you know, don't, don't try to pretend you're above that. No, 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 I'm very clean. I think Brazzers is a line of bras. That's it. All yeah, right. you'll actually just, you'll just walk up to the giant statues of him and like, don't smoke and just wank straight onto that one. Yeah, yeah and for some reason they're just like, that is acceptable. <laughs> it is white. The same cara as the marble statue, <laughs> yes? It's the same. Fuck. Yeah, well, it had to get rough at some point, didn't it? <laughs> <sighs> but really, that is that's that's always your that's the impulse. Come down, yes, it is, isn't it? And I'm not I'm not trying to shatter yeah. your point. The fact that Bragg magazine doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to know what some random cunt thinks of Tame Impala's latest <laughs> album? Dude, you can you can find that easy in any totality. Dude, they don't care about that. Really? No, they do. In no, Turkmenistan, they, they, do. Yes, they do. They do. Yes, they see that that is like, like corrupting a, the soul. Yeah. And look at Miss Love. It is. No, if you're like he's a Muslim not homeless. I need to make this again. He's not <laughs> homeless. I don't know about that, man. I know you don't know about no, that. Looking at him, no, he. he but what, what's going to happen in Turkmenistan? Very close to being just. You won't be homeless. That's the one thing about well, Turkmenistan. Okay, yeah, you, you're getting an apartment. If you're just one of those cleaning ladies that's sweeping up, you get a penthouse fucking apartment for free. Dude, I don't know how true yeah, that is. My parents went into it. My parents maybe in Turkmenistan went into it. My dad. I still. I, my dad still always. Heeds the advice of you know he was given a cushy job, given an apartment, but it was like un it wasn't motivating. He was like he he there was no uh, there was no um, incentive to even work. <laughs> you, you know the only reason he didn't like it was yeah, the same true. reason that he loved worked. That. He was an architect that was like I want to put out a spherical fountain outside of this Soviet block, and they're just like no square only. He's like oh oh so you that's the whole creative huh? the creative what? yeah. Know. So you're saying those to- those totalitarian societies are great for everyone unless you are a creative. Yeah, I really think so. And I take creative. that creative. But yeah, I am, but I'm saying that what I would want is basically my ideal government. well, it's not the ideal government, obviously, like a democracy is, but I'm t- I'm telling you, man, they're shams. 
It's a sucker's game. I get that. But, it doesn't exist. But, because like, just, just, like, just think about this. But like, like I would say, whole... like, you, dude, if I had the option of, you know, that or Paul Keating installed until he wanted to step down, I'm choosing Paul. But would you be happy that instead of, you know, the success, the, the, the legions of fans and like, you know, your career, they're like, you now go to the morgue and throw away the dead bodies. I want a different job. No, no, that's you till you die. <laughs> You're going to tell me straight face now you're happy with that? Knowing what I know now, yes. But if I was in your dad's oh. shoes, no. Right. If he was you capable are of shape. only doing that, then... Sh no. Okay. No, no, no. Because, like, look, I, yeah, okay. Because part of my job, I'm just constantly focusing on politics, right? He's not. No, He's I focusing on making buildings look nice. Yeah, no, I understand So that. he doesn't, like, understand the bigger game at play. No offense. Because he's, no, he's, I get that. He's you're a very a smart, talented you're artist, right? But that's where his focus is. I get that. But you're a comedian. You can't, like, you, you couldn't really be a comedian there. Like, how, did anybody notice how white Go Gobin Ghoulie's shoes were? They were so white that I think he's the best pre president in the world. Be, yeah, be, and he be, still be, just be. like scours at me and I get dragged off on TV. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that would you, be your life. But I don't think that's true, Miss Love. You could be a comedian. You just can't talk about the government or things that they don't want you to talk about. Which, by it's the way, happens act. in every society. Most There are most things that you can't speak as we speak policy. right now. What? Like can what? you say anything you want right now? No, but I can say a lot What's more. What's going to happen? You're going to get kicked off, right? Yeah. Or anything that, like, I'm not saying that like, you would yeah. want to say those things. I'm just saying that there, there are, you know, those, there, there are red lines There's everywhere. All limitations. I know, I understand that, but I still, I still think you guys are like looking at it through rose tinted glasses. Like doing the comedy cellar in Brook, in New York, in Manhattan, isn't the same as like the Russian, uh, the the Turkmenistan giant crater hour. But if you look at the president, if you look at the president with a cock eye, I'll cut your fucking head off. Okay. <laughs> Now yeah, go right, out there and make with the yuck yucks. <laughs> you yeah. didn't say his shoes were white enough. How many times did I tell you? Say his shoes were very, very, very three times. You <laughs> did two. Now you're fucking dead. You your know about the rule dead. of threes in comedy, no? Yeah. <laughs> your wife's dead. Your son's dead. Yeah, we got we got free healthcare though. But your wife's dead. Your son's <laughs> dead. I mean, look, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> it's just the middle. Nah, you, yeah, you See, the healthcare point. system brings them back. <laughs> uh, yeah, good it is, you fuck. <laughs> but look, you do have a point. We're no, no, you, right. you, you've got a point. I don't know why I end up like defending really <laughs> totalitarian regimes when I'm with Jordan. I think we're on the three minute countdown, guys. I feel well, like thank you Apollo. for tuning into this week's installment of uh, softening the blow when China eventually takes over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. With a really crappy baby gum, and these guys will be at, they'll, they'll be. We'll be in I'll cabbage, be baby. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're going to be no, enemies. Uh, we'll be one of those no, we yeah. brother against brother. We're going to be in cabbage because they're monitoring this now. And eventually, when they invade, mm. we're going to be put in good position. Yeah, hopefully, I'm okay and I can just completely sell out. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like LARB. Um, I know that's Vietnamese. Whatever. Right to your local congressman. Anyway, it's been fun. <laughs> yep. It's been solid words. It's been fun. Uh, finally, uh, we can fill. I fulfilled my dream of being on Cheese TV slash Saturday morning Disney. It's been swell. You guys, what are you? Yeah, reckon? but also your other dream as well is that there's also '80s neon lights in here. I know. Real is human that black being. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> and a real hero. I yeah. don't know what that was in reference I, I to. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sure that that really worked. It did. Yeah. It worked, right? I'm sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> the seal of approval. Yeah. You can't top that. Yeah. The All right. We'll see you next week, guys. That was That's that's where we end on Miss yeah. Love cheaply animating a plastic plant. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's been fun. Love you, hey, guys. Love you. From the yeah, yeah, yeah. See us off, Shuey. Jordan. You got a this minute. Is a bitty, 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 bitty. That's all, folks. And stand by. Three, two, one.